What's up, everybody? Well, got a little bit different video for you guys today. First off, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates Christmas, and then a Happy Holidays to everybody who doesn't. But I decided to make this video Christmas Day because, well, my mom got me a pretty badass gift. She just randomly said, hey, can I see your Amazon save list? Just give me your password to your Amazon account. And I was like, all right. Next thing I know, Christmas rolls around, and I got this camera I was eyeballing because I was always talking about how good my YouTube channel is doing, but talking about how sometimes my DJI camera fucks me over and doesn't let me like record gameplay from like my Steam Deck because it'll have a focusing problem. Well, I guarantee if I've got this, I can probably just turn autofocus the fuck off, focus in, and just play my game, and then it won't go, oh, the white balance went too high, you can't see what's going on on the Steam Deck or the computer screens for all my camera gameplay I do. So she got me this because I did a bunch of research and it seems like this is one of the best bang for the bucks for just doing video on YouTube. It might not be the best at pictures, but I'm not looking to do pictures one of these. I am a complete idiot when it comes to cameras and stuff. Hell, I've got a lot of research to do still just to know all this cool shit this guy can even do. But anyway, I decided to go with a Panasonic Lumix GH6. I was eyeballing the uh, GH5 too, but figured this thing was on sale. So I decided I was gonna buy it myself and just be like, oh cool, but I wanna do a little more research first. But next thing I know, it's already here. So hopefully it'll work out. The only thing that didn't show up yet is there's still a memory card showing up because you know, moms are moms and unfortunately she got me the wrong one, but it's the one I was also looking at too, but it won't allow me to do the max this camera can do. And plus kind of funny, I got a 512 gig of like a 1700 megabit per second like card that goes into it. It kind of almost looks like a like a cut down M or not M.2 but like a SATA drive that just slots into the side of the freaking thing. But that's how you get to do the 5k or 5.7k and all that shit. So figured get that and it saved her some money. Sent the other one back it was like 210 apparently. Uh, this one was only 170 so that was kind of cool. Pretty awesome mom though. Get, get her son a gift like this to help the YouTube out. But anyway let's stop blabbing and get this thing unboxed and there's also this, uh, she also got me this, what do you call it? Lens for it. I don't know if it's actually the best lens for what I'm looking at, but who knows? If it's not, I'll buy one that is, but hopefully it's a good one. I did a pretty decent amount of research on it before popping it in my saved uh, Amazon list, so hopefully it all works out, but let's get these guys unboxed now. So, all right, let's open this guy on up here and see what we get in the box. All right, so first thing we're greeted with is a bunch of stuff like instructions and what have you. I guess we can text to register this thing. And then you got some more, probably another advertisement pamper pamphlet. Yep. It's showing you all the lenses you can get and other stuff. So I'll keep that. Cause who knows, might see one there that would be like, Hey, this is like the perfect lens for YouTube or something like that. Who knows? Anyway, now we can open that flap. Then we've got yet another flap, man. We've got ourselves quite the flaps in here. All right, what's next? I bet in here is probably cords. So what do we got? We got ourselves a big old cord here. Don't know what it goes to, because like I said, I'm an absolute idiot when it comes to this stuff, but people that are actually interested in this will know what all these do probably. All right, what do we got here? We got a USB-C cable. This is probably for charging and taking files off your camera when you get home, if you don't want to take the card out. This seems to be some kind of holder for something. No idea what. Like I said, again, I'm an absolute noob when it comes to this stuff. Here's your wall wart. What else do we got in here? Ah, your charger for the battery. Hopefully they gave me batteries. Or is that just a battery? Nope, that's not the battery, okay. Nope, that was definitely the wall wart. I just wanna make sure I wasn't being stupid. All right, and here's the battery pack for it. I'll probably go and get a couple more of these. Because that's the one complaint people had about this thing is they said this thing doesn't have the best battery life. But truth be told, I'll probably just leave it plugged in like I do this thing 90% of the time. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh, we got ourselves a nice strap. Says so the name of the thing on it right there. All right, is that it? All right, I think we're to the main star of the show already. It comes in a nice little, whatchamacallit, wrap thing here, so... Get that out of my way. I do not want to drop this guy, but there it is. We've got ourselves our little screen. So that's pretty cool. So I'll at least be able to watch what I'm doing without setting my phone on the back of the tripod as I'm doing now. Hmm, come to think of it, this thing probably doesn't have any built-in mics. I'm probably gonna to have to get a mic too. I know it's got a little port over here for a mic. But yeah, I wonder if I can, that's probably what slides on right up here. 
Didn't really think about that. And there's where you would put your strap and a remote apparently. Here's the front of the camera. Here's where you'd put your lens. Oh, there's two different places to put a strap. Well, probably to both of them, you probably put the strap on both and then hold on to it. That'd be my guess anyway. And then you've got your little doorway here for your HDMI and your freaking cards probably. And that's for a light. Ah, you can put a little light here. So you can just set yourself all up. You can probably put like a little light off to the side of your tripod over here and just be set to go. You got your little delete and back buttons. Man, this is definitely going to take some getting used to. But, so that's pretty much the camera. So let's get this, uh, let's get this box out of the way. And now let's go look at our, at our, what should we call it? Our camera lens. All right, now let's check out this lens. All right. That looks like, oh, what in the hell is this for? You know what, it kind of looks like the things you see on the edge of a camera. I wonder if that's for just keeping like light out or something. But we've got that guy. Definitely don't want to drop the lens, so let's just drop it into my hand. How about that? Instead of risking it falling down and onto the table or something, because I know these things are delicate. Man, this thing's very protected. All right. There's the opening. I was like, uh, do I have to like rip this thing open? All right. And I do not want to touch the lenses. Luckily they come with little caps, so that's good. Let's see. All right. It looks like this is the end that connects to your camera and then this is the end that would be pointing at shit, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So we can kind of just set that guy off to the side and get rid of all of this shit too. It comes with little instructions, which I'll probably need to read. I don't even know how to attach this son of a bitch to the camera, to be honest with you guys. But why don't I turn the camera off real quick, figure out how read the instructions just a tad and figure out how I get the battery installed and get this camera lens attached and all that shit. And then we'll turn the camera back on and boot the thing up. Take a look at some of its option screen or something like that. Well, here we are. We've got the lens all installed now. It was, I didn't even need the instructions. It was pretty self-explanatory, really. Battery goes in the bottom here. You just flip this thing and it goes right in pretty much. And the lens, same thing. Little grooves, line up the grooves, and then just spin it around until this little, little, uh, little orange dot is perpendicular with this six thing and the same thing with this front thing. I just turned it until it matched up with that other white thing right there and everything's good. And the cool part is I can still protect my lens. I just wanted to leave it off for now. Oh. Here we go. See, I can still put that on and protect the lens. So that's pretty cool because you definitely don't want to get dust all over those. Otherwise you're going to be, and you still have to wipe them a bunch too. So I'm going to have to take good care of this, but like I thought, there is nothing for audio as far as I can tell. I mean, maybe, actually, no, it's got, it has speakers in it, but I bet those mics probably don't sound very good. I'm hoping maybe they sound as good as this uh, DJI stock mics right now. I'm using the little wireless USB, or not USB, the little Bluetooth thing to speak to you guys all right now. And I'm pretty sure I can connect that to it wirelessly, but I don't always use this. This is only good for talking. I realized when I tried to use it to like get gameplay, like no one could hear anything besides me talking. You couldn't even hear the game, even though I thought it was up pretty damn loud. But I'll have to get myself a nice little, what you call attachment up there for the mic, I think. Still, I'll test the you know stock mics. They might be good enough for what I do, but if I've gone this far and now I have a fucking like almost, well, with all the features and stuff, this is like $2,300 worth of shit probably. So uh, why, why not just get a really nice mic for another like 200, 300 bucks and put it on top of there? I think Panasonic makes a nice one that slides right on and that would probably just work. And then I can just, I'm pretty sure I can just use this DJI Bluetooth mic on anything I want, not just my DJI. It's got a little Bluetooth button. I bet if I just hit that, it goes into pairing mode and I can probably, you know, get right into the camera and just hook it up like that. I'm hoping anyway. I'm going to have to do research on how to do all that stuff. But anyway, now, why don't we boot this guy up and at least go through the menu a little bit just to see what's what. 
if it has a charge that is hopefully the battery came with some charge if not we'll just have to end the video now or i'll have to go charge the battery up a little bit and then uh what you call it show you guys how it turns on so why don't we go go do that well all right not a lot of battery so we're gonna try to go through this quick just wanted to go through all the little settings here so if you come over here you can go to image quality you got a bunch of different things here you got image quality two then you've got your focus which means I can probably, I see an autofocus on and off button literally right up here. So that's probably going to be a blessing. Wireless functions. We got some more extra options here like silent mode, image stabilization, burst shot, and shutter type and what have you. And then you got a self timer. So now if we back out of that and then we go into image quality for our video. Just wanted to go through these real fast here. Hopefully I have enough battery to get through this. So it does have sound recording and audio stuff too. Mic socket, stereo, all sorts of cool shit. Silent mode, image stabilization and all that again. Oop, hit the wrong button, still learning. Now we want to go back there and then we've got image quality settings. Wow, you got even more settings. You can even go through here. There we go. Autofocus, pinpoint. That's crazy. There's so many settings to this thing. I have so much work to do to learn how to do all the shit this thing can do. But at the same time, I'm still very, very happy. Oh, nope, wrong button again. How do we get it to go just back to... Here we go. No? There we go. Got it. Jeez. I'm just showing myself off as a huge camera noob. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know once I learn how to use this thing properly, I'm going uh, to be very, very happy. We got more card format. Oh, gosh darn it. There we go. Power save mode, inputs, settings, so you can save custom settings. That's cool. You got your clock firmware, all that shit in here. And you got your playback modes. And all right. And that's pretty much the whole thing. I don't have a memory card yet, so I can't do anything with this thing, really. We can look through the frickin', there's the frickin' viewfinder. You can look through that, or you can use this. It can also be spun around and put here and raised up, but I don't know how to do half that shit yet, so I don't want to break anything. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to turn the thing back off now so I don't run the battery completely out. And why don't we just shut that before I accidentally drop it sideways and break the motherfucker. But that's about it for this video. I wished I could go and get some footage and whatnot for you guys, but with no bitter, no memory card, can't do it. So we'll have to wait and we'll do a just a video just about the camera once I actually get that and I'll probably just do a quick little I'm gonna definitely use it to do my review of the laptop right here and my Steam Deck now I was pretty much waiting on it to do that waiting before I got this camera I mean but now I got it for Christmas so I don't even have to wait any longer to make my decision decisions been made for me so now I'll be able to make some pretty sick videos once I get that memory card and learn how to use this blasted thing so I think what I'm gonna do now is Go grab the instructions for both the lens and the thing and just go read it a little bit. Normally as a dude, I don't read instructions often, but I really have no idea what to do. Or better yet, maybe I'd be better off just watching somebody else's video on YouTube on how to use the damn thing, you know? I watched a bunch of reviews, but didn't really watch any videos on what to do when you actually have one, since I didn't have one. Why watch those, right? Anyway, I'm blabbing on and on. I'm just super excited to have this cool-ass camera now. Not like this DJI was bad or anything, but... Like I said at the beginning, it was kind of annoying to not, what do you call it, be able to turn off the autofocus. No matter what, I couldn't find any of the menus, whether I was using my phone as a screen or just scrolling through its menus on itself. I couldn't turn that off. That was one of the main problems. And it's not like it's the best 
for indoors. Even with my lights and everything, it still has quite a bit of like noise and stuff in it. That thing I could tell just by looking through the freaking viewfinder. That shit looked like a crystal clear glass. Like everything it saw looked like what my eyes saw. So I'm excited to start getting some fucking footage with this thing. Very, very excited. Very good Christmas present. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this video. I'm going to take me a quick little victory hit for having this camera and all that shit. Some nice platinum cookies for Christmas. Hell yeah. And again, a Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates Christmas and a happy holidays to everybody else who does not. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And until the next video, peace out, guys.